There was no freaking planes going until I press record. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen for Internet. So in today's video, we are back to the basics. We are doing my Etsy series where I review natural hair care brands that I find on Etsy. And today's video is all about Scrubtius. I hope I'm saying that right. And if you would like to see my initial review, stay tuned. I haven't done a video from an Etsy brand in a minute and I'm like really excited. I actually was trying to pick and choose which one I'm going to do. I have an Etsy brand that I want to do and an Instagram brand that I wanted to do and I'm just saying those because I find these products on those sites and I have one of my regular followers comment that she wanted me to do the Etsy so I'm definitely going to do that one or oh, I've already did it. So here's the initial review for that. It is a brand that I found on Etsy. It's called Scrubtius, and I hope I'm saying that right. I actually reached out to the brand owner and I asked the question. She was like, it's pronounced exactly how you see it. Okay, girl, I'ma say it just like that. So let's get into it. Thumbs up for the products coming into a box. I love it. And it came with some treats and a little handwritten note, which I love. And it says, thank you, Jennifer, for your purchase. Enjoy. The products were ordered on January 9th, shipped January 11th, and delivered January 15th of this year. Everything was cool in the box, and I loved the shipping. So the Banana Milkshake Hair Mask, it is 8 ounces for $20. And just FYI, all of the product pricing is at the time of this recording the castor oil shampoo bar it weighs about three and a half ounces and it was for nine dollars this is a tingling jamaican black castor oil conditioner now this didn't say on the website or on the bottle how many ounces it was but i assume it's eight and this was for 16.50 this is the onion and garlic hair growth oil. Now the bottle says three ounces, but when I purchased it, it said four ounces. I'm assuming four ounces in the bottle. The bottle itself weighs about three ounces, but nevertheless, it was one bottle for $26. And then the last item that I bought was the hair marmalade. It is eight ounces. Again, it says four ounces on the item here which i think that's just how much the container weighs but there's eight ounces worth of product in here and it was for 24 dollars by the way i love the packaging i do love that this is like the sticker that doesn't get damaged in water i think a lot of times when indie brands the paper based branding they don't think oh if a natural girl is using this she's more than likely going to be using this around water if it's something like this it doesn't get damaged if I have this in the shower. So I really love the packaging as well. All right, y'all, let's get ready for wash day. All right, I'm gonna cut in real quick just to give you a, a quick disclaimer. So technically I have two conditioners and you don't really need to, at least in my opinion, I'm not a professional, but you don't necessarily need two conditioners in one wash day, if that makes sense. And since I have the black castor oil conditioner plus this banana milk shake hair mask, it is used as a, it can be used as a conditioner. One of the instructions on the Etsy site says that you can mix this with your conditioner, which I was going to do this, but I realized this is my first impression and I kind of wanted to see how these felt separately. So I am going to use it separately. I'm going to use this first as sort of like a pre-poo slash hair mask and then use the shampoo bar and then go in with the conditioner here for about five to 10 minutes only based on the instructions. This says to leave in my hair about 20 to 30 minutes. I'll do 20 on the lower end and then do 10 minutes for this. So it'll give me 30 minutes total. So I'm not really over processing my hair in terms of conditioner, even though I am using two conditioners. I just want to see how each one feels on its own. And then when I do my four week updates, like I usually do, I'll mix the two and see how they feel. Deal? Gotcha. So the shampoo bar smelled absolutely divine and I love the little flower that came on top. Oh my God, it's so cute. I put it to the side. <laughs> so I went ahead and put some water in my hair real quick to make everything easier and then I mixed up the banana mask and that stuff was strong with banana smell. 
I went ahead and put all the banana mask into my hair. I mixed it with water and I put it under a shower cap for about 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes was over, I went and got into the shower and I rinsed it out. After I rinsed it out though, I noticed that it was a really, really soft, soft hair that I had after I rinsed everything out. But after I rinsed out the mask, I went ahead and parted my hair into four sections per the instructions to get into the shampoo bar. And then after I parted it in the four sections, I put the bar directly onto my hair. And sure enough, that bar really, really was easy to put into my hair. It lathered very, very easily. And after that, I used the Tingling Black Castor Oil um, Conditioner and I put that into my hair and then I left it in my hair for about 5 to 10 minutes. I just stood in the shower and just did some dances and just kind of let it go for about 5 to 10 minutes. And after I rinsed everything out, I was thoroughly, thoroughly surprised and I felt like everything felt really good. After I got out of the shower, I went ahead and used the oil. Now, when I smelled it, y'all, it took me a little by surprise. We are going to get into that a little bit later. But nevertheless, I went ahead and used that on my scalp. And then I went ahead and used some of the marmalade to seal in the moisture. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick, just by using these products and these products only, how my hair ended up looking right after the shower. So I went ahead and twisted my hair up for that night and the next day I untwisted it and here are the results. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the shampoo bar. So I think that is very important if you get a uh, separate dish to put the shampoo bar in or maybe uh, you can go like Dollar Tree or something where you can get those cheap soap containers that closes up. Separate it so you know which one is your shampoo bar versus what you usually use on your body. I love how easy it was to put into my hair. Now if you've uh, been a follower of mine and you've watched my previous video on my first impressions of another brand that I found on Etsy is called For Every Curl and that brand actually has a shampoo bar but I, my assumption was it was gonna be like this when you put it into your hair and it creates the suds. That shampoo bar was completely different from what I assumed it was going to be. So this is why this time I checked to see if it was gonna be an easy lather and I checked on the website to see what I was supposed to do. It is so important to make sure you follow directions for the brands that you are trying for the first time just to get an idea of what and how you're supposed to use those items. It lathered up really nicely it actually also really left my hair feeling soft and very manageable. It did not give a lot of slip though. It's not that it didn't, but not as much as I would have liked. But overall, it was still a good cleansing shampoo bar. It smelled amazing and I really did feel as though the bar got my hair very clean. Overall, I think it's so convenient. This was a plus for me. Next thing let's talk about is the banana milkshake hair mask. Now, so one of the ingredients in the banana milkshake hair mask is ashwagandha and I hope I'm saying that right but that is mainly at least from what I have been reading it helps with hair loss but it also has other ingredients of course the banana coconut milk honey sweet rice flour and aloe vera among other ingredients initially the smell is very intense for me especially when you add the water to it it looks just like baby food once you put it into your hair at least for me it wasn't that overwhelming and the smell went away when I rinsed out that hair mask it felt so soft and so good and I'm so glad that I used these separately from the other conditioner that I had which I will get into next but the 20 minutes that I had this in my hair still left my hair very soft when I washed it out but 
Again, I also give this two thumbs up. I do love everything about this so far. The only thing that it's not a negative, but it is a cautionary thing. The smell may be a little bit overwhelming if you do not like bananas, but really good product. Speaking of, here we go with the Tingling Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. It definitely tingles and it smells really good. I think I smell a hint of peppermint. Let me see the ingredients. Yeah, peppermint. And well, obviously that's probably helped with the tingling too, but you can smell the peppermint in there. But let me say the first thing that I noticed about this, it's more watery than any conditioner I've used recently. I'm used to my conditioners being a little bit more thicker. It does definitely tingle and it's not a bad, uncomfortable tingle it just gives you that feeling of okay something's working i'm feeling something okay cannot wait to see how these two interact in the next couple of weeks i cannot wait i'll also say that when i rinsed this out as i was pulling my hair through i was able to just put you know finger to tangle a little bit that was a plus i don't know if it was just because i had already used all the other items but this was the last product that i used when i finger to tangle some of my hair so I'm just gonna say it was you. But I really liked the product overall and we'll see what happens in the next coming weeks. The hair marmalade, I really do like it. I It brings me back to your scalp oil or well, grease. I know I used to by my mom and I used to love that. I secretly missed that too. But this has sweet almond oil in it, jojoba, fenugreek, and biotin, rosemary, lemongrass, a lot of ingredients that are good for your hair and obviously for smell as well. But it does look like a solid and obviously if I do this, nothing will come out. But this is definitely, as soon as you put it into your hands and you rub it, it will instantly warm up and then go into your scalp, into your hair very, very easily. It is used as a scalp moisturizer or a sealant. But I do honestly like how it feels going into my hair but i think i'll concentrate more on it being a sealant rather than a scalp moisturizer but so far so good so the onion garlic intensive hair growth oil i definitely wanted some steak and potatoes after i smelled this i'm just saying first of all i cannot give you guys a full update on how it performed in my hair obviously it's oil and it's going to take some time to give it a thorough review this smell is a little bit intense on the onion and garlic i will probably have to incorporate something that smells a little bit different than the onion and garlic for me just like the banana one it was a little bit intense but once you put into your hair and it, this does go away as well but for me, it's probably something that I would not use if I'm getting up in the morning to go out somewhere. This is probably for me a strictly like a nighttime oil. And I don't mean that in a shady way. It, it literally says on the package that it's onion and garlic. So you expect it to be what it says and it is. So I give it thumbs up for that. But a, that doesn't mean that my sense of smell is not as sensitive as someone else's so i do want to point that out that i will do a length check to give you guys a full before and after in terms of if this and all the other products because all the other products in this brand that i have purchased are based on promoting hair growth so i definitely want to give you guys an update because i like to be thorough yeah, no. But this hair growth oil, other than the onion and garlic, it does have lemongrass, essential oil, rosemary, olive oil. It has this as well. I never can pronounce that, so I'm just gonna put that there. And some other ingredients as well. Very good for your hair growth. So I cannot wait to see what this and the other products do for my hair for the next four weeks. So overall, guys, I am so excited to see what this will do for my hair. It's been interesting to say the least. If you would like to see more videos like this, I definitely have some down on my channel with other brands of initial videos and the four week updates. You are more than welcome to check those out. And also let me know down in the comments what you think about the brand that I just reviewed for today. It's so, so interesting finding new brands, especially black owned brands. And I love showcasing them on my channel. I do this in every video. I have a shirt for the day and the shirt for today is Bears Football. Now, I don't know who play on the team. I am not that type of fan. I am a fan because my dad was a fan of the Chicago Bears. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.